What's good, YouTube? Of course, the car be here. So, we got a request from Rusty Boy 9790. This is the Twilight. What's wrong with the way I live? We have the 1968 version here. This, you said that this is uh, fronted by Glenn Sherrock, one of the most iconic singers that was in a few different bands that you mentioned. So, we will see what we get with this one. It's, it's probably going to be a shorter song. It's like an oldie song, less than two minutes, which is very common for these style of songs. So I'm interested to see what we get with this one. What's wrong with the way I live? Sounds like a very rebellious kind of title to standing up for yourself. And you guys know I like stuff like that on here. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance. I really, really love going the whole nine yards on breaking down the lyrics for you guys inside of these songs relating them to our own lives, discussing the topics in the music is a great way to express things that are difficult to put into regular words or regular conversation at a lot of times in life. You can express that better with music and really allow people to feel what you're going through and how you want to express it, right? Because everybody expresses those types of things differently. Some people be in like wild, chaotic energy. Some people are sad or some people are lovey-dovey. Some people are indifferent. And you get that as a reflection whenever it comes to listening to music. So I love seeing the different vibes that we get into on here and the different perspectives you see inside of the art that we cover on here. Thank you guys so much for building this community with me. Like I always say, if you're going through a mental health or an addiction struggle, please get the professional help that's available. Get yourself better. Start living your best life. Chase after your dreams. Inspire other people that have been through or are going through it to get out of it. And then they can also inspire more people with their stories. And that's it. And you go full circle that way. You can really just provide a place of inspiration especially with platforms like this where we can get on here and openly discuss everything and just have a conversation about anything at all i think it's really important that we use the platforms the proper way and we can really help each other out with a lot of stuff on here when it comes to discussing mental health and addiction issues and just inspiring others to also pull themselves out of those things as well if they are struggling i love you guys so much thank you for everything i'm because of coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples we got the twilights what's wrong with the way i live such classic footage right here it's got that it's even got that laid back sound quality to it right that oldies sound quality you guys know i love this vibe of music i like the way the vocals sound the style of vocals from back then is very amazing i just like the tone that they used and the way they carried their voices and everything oldies are some of my favorite kind of songs this is a classic vibe right here man i'm a man who's defending and my job is never ending for me man What's wrong with the way I live, the way I use my time? People should live their lives, leaving me to mine, leaving me to mine. He's saying, go live your own life and stop telling me what to do with mine. Don't you have something better to do with yourself? I feel that, man. I feel that. I've always felt that way whenever people try to tell me what to do with myself. Or like, tell me that I shouldn't do something that I was trying to do or whatever. I'd be like, why don't you just fucking let me try and find out if it's going to work or not? Because you don't know. Lead me to my life, right? Allow me to live my life. 
why do you care about the way I use my time? That's what this is about, but this is said in a very classic and like sing-songy, wholesome manner, right? This is a much different vibe than like nowadays you would get like a freaking diss track, right? You would get someone really going off and telling you how you how they feel nowadays. This was how it was approached back in those times, a little bit more subtle and like still telling you to get bent, but just a very much so more wholesome and calm approach to it, a prettier approach to it than what we're used to nowadays. We get diss tracks these and nowadays, you guys know that. <laughs> I love the vibe. The dancing, classic man. It's ironic they're playing it up tight. That's funny. <laughs> It's just chill, man. I love the group vocals. The joint vocals in these classic songs like this are always on point. There, I think that there's words on the lyric sheet that also didn't get said in this performance. We might have to just grab another version as well. I can grab another version of this, and we can really listen to like a studio version. I wanted a live version, though. You guys know I listen to live versions of everything. This is probably dubbed over, I would imagine. I don't know. A lot of the performances for TV shows or stuff like that, right, are very overdubbed when it comes to the music even though the artists absolutely hate that in most instances you know they do smart ass little shit to let you know what's going on a lot of the time i think that's funny what one of the funniest ones one of the most nonchalant ways that I, somebody gave them the middle finger with that was um it was it was the mamas and the papas were performing and one of the chicks started eating a, i believe it was a fucking banana on stage while she was supposed to be singing <laughs> oh my goodness bro i remember a little shit like that you see it every now and then just pass it by you catch it a lot of short or whatever music history and whatnot that's one of the funniest things i've ever seen that cracked me up when i saw that the mamas and papas had done that back in the day it's always fucking hilarious when artists do stuff like that right i love the vibe of this though Yes, sir. We got a short and sweet one right here, and I enjoyed it. I liked it. It's just, like, basic fucking lyrics, right? The lyrics are very straightforward, and him telling you to leave him alone. Ever since I was a young man, all his rights to... Ever since I was a young man, all his rights to live in peace. People tried to get at me, tried to bring me down and hurt me, and I'm losing. Damn. People tried to get at me, tried to bring me down and hurt me, and I'm losing, he says. All my days to suit them best, but the future will be changing for me. They persist in rearranging. That is bars right there, though. That is bars. <laughs> he said, they persist in rearranging my personality and telling me how to live my life on their terms. Why the hell? you ever live your life on somebody else's terms even in a relationship both people should still live their own lives like i think that two people should be able to like especially when you're older like you've really settled into the things that you do in life if you meet somebody like and you like them right you actually enjoy their time and everything like that but it's like a polar opposite on a, like a job frame or schedule frame or like hobby frame and stuff like that. 
that's like an opportunity to get new hobbies and stuff in my opinion like you can do things you've never done before because that person's into things that you've never done and you might be into things that they've never done and then you can come together and have this great fucking time of like holy crap i've never done this before and that's just gonna fuel the love even more like those differences and living the way that you want to live i think can be beneficial for even relationships and stuff like that but those people that persist in rearranging your personality we call those narcissists around here i don't fucking know what to do with them man i don't know what to do with them anymore you guys probably know a lot about that from your own personal experiences as well i don't fucking know what makes people think that they can tell you how to live your life and what you should and shouldn't do. He's just saying that the future's going to be changing for him. I'm a man who is defending all his rights to live in peace, but they're losing and my job is never ending and they're losing. <laughs> he said they're losing, but my job is never ending. <laughs> He says, if I let up for one single solitary second and take the foot off of the pedal of the gas, they're going to swarm in and fucking splat across the fucking windshield, and then I won't be able to see, and I'm going to have to get out and clean up the mess, and it's just going to be a bad time. That's the metaphor, right? That's what he's saying there. He's like, so I just got to keep my foot on the fucking gas, keep going, ignore them and what they have to say, defend my right to live in peace, and they're losing. I love it. I love how deep the message of this song is for such a short song. That's beautiful. It reminds me of, like, punk rock kind of vibes, right? Punk rock had a lot of deep meanings and messages inside of short songs like this. I think they took a lot of influence from the oldies style when it came to the length of their songs and that sort of thing with punk rock, right? Just a much more brutal message and politically affiliated message and socially affiliated message, that sort of thing. But this right here awesome fucking tune i appreciate this rusty thank you for your request my friend i really liked this a lot like i said we might have to check out the studio version for this as well in a separate video to get a different vibe for it but this live right here in the words i love it very awesome vibe here classic oldies tune with a damn good message i resonate with the message of this very heavily All right you guys know how it is here it gets it gets interesting here sometimes. <laughs> I love you guys. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world, relate it to our own lives, discuss the topics inside of it. This one's very relatable to just being yourself and not giving a damn what anybody has to tell you or trying to rearrange you as a person. Be yourself and whoever's meant to love you will come and love you and you can vibe with them and that's where we like to sit on here as well i love you guys so much thank you for everything we're gonna get out of here like i always say if you're struggling with the addiction or mental health problems go get that professional help that's available get better live your best life and inspire others to do the same i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.